So in this video, I want to talk about how to repair an old, weak, damaged immune system. When you age, what happens is your immune system starts going downhill. You have less natural killer cells. That means you cannot eliminate viruses as well as you did when you're in your 20s. You're not going to be able to get rid of the tumor cells as efficiently. Your B cells go down, so that means your antibodies go down. So your immune system loses the memory, so it doesn't remember past pathogens, so it's not as prepared, so your immune system is a bit weaker. Also, you lose your T cells, and that's like a really, really important part of your immune system with killing off microbes, preventing autoimmune diseases, decreasing inflammation after an infection, and also the quantity of phagocytes won't be there like it was. So you just have less of these cells eating bacteria and cleaning up stuff. So you can see that age really creates a huge impact on the immune system. And so if you also, like myself, had a long history of taking antibiotics as a child or a teenager or adult, that can greatly weaken your immune system as you get older. And then if you have chemotherapy, that just kills the immune system. Or steroids. Now, this was me. Uh, in my 20s, I had really bad poison ivy every single season uh, in the fall. I would be exposed to poison ivy. Even if I didn't even touch it, I could be three feet away and I would get poison ivy really bad to the point where uh, it even got in my eye and my face. And so I had to take steroids every year, I don't know, probably eight to nine years in a row. So that created a weakness within my immune system. So if you are on prednisone or had a history of taking steroids, that can really suppress the immune system. And not to mention um, pre-existing health problems that weaken the immune system. And also living under chronic stress can weaken the immune system. Now, probably the most important thing that can strengthen your immune system is to be breastfed. But if you're like me, uh, that's not going to happen anymore. So next best thing is to take a supplement called colostrum. Okay, this is in a powdered form. And colostrum is um, very special in that it's like the first milk that's released. And so it's rich in antibodies and other immune building factors. And Sovereign Labs, which is a really good company, I'm not affiliated with them and I don't get a commission, they produce a very high quality colostrum and it's in a powdered form and it's from cows, it's grass-fed cows, organic. And the version I would recommend is the Colostrum LD. This is a version of colostrum uh, that they use with a special technology to encapsulate it in little lipid uh, wrappers. So it can pass through the acidity of the stomach and survive. And so it's like 15 times more effective than other types of colostrum. Colostrum is rich in antibodies, which greatly help your immune system. It has lactoferrin, which controls iron. It has growth factors. This is why a lot of athletes consume colostrum because they find that it can actually increase their uh, performance and their, their muscle mass, and it can help them in overall strength. But one of the biggest things that colostrum does is help the intestinal permeability to prevent leaky gut. And even if you have leaky gut, it can actually help those junctions become really tight and strong to prevent uh, pathogens from invading it. So a lot of problems can occur if you have a leaky gut allergies, autoimmune diseases. So this is a very powerful uh, remedy to support the internal layer of your intestines. Now, I do want to mention one thing about colostrum is that if you do have a weakened immune system and you take too much of this, you may turn on an immune reaction. So I'm going to recommend you take a very, very small amount and then test the waters. So I'm talking like one fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, just a little bit. Uh, maybe a little water before you go to bed and see what happens. Because if you take a full spoon, you might end up feeling a little uh, groggy, maybe a little mucus reaction, maybe some immune reaction. So start off very small and gradually increase it. And if you have a reaction, back off until that's completely cleared up and then start back. The fact that you have a reaction means that you need it. You just need to take it in very tiny amounts at first. Some people might even need like one eighth of a teaspoon if they're very sensitive. All right, number two, acids. We want to acidify the stomach. We want to make sure the large intestine has lactic acid, which will decrease the pathogens in the body because one thing that kills pathogens is acid. And so in our stomachs, we need hydrochloric acid. In our large intestine, we need lactic acid. 
So you'd want to take betaine hydrochloride. That's going to help build up your stomach acid. Sea salt will help from the chlorides. Make sure you don't neglect that. Some other things that you can do is take fulvic acid, which is really good for your system, and also kombucha tea. That would be very, very beneficial. And even probiotics like lactobacillus, so then it can actually make the lactic acid that you need. Very important. When you wipe out the flora, the intestinal um, friendly bacteria, you greatly diminish the immune system. So that's like really, really important. All right, number three, fermented foods can help with the immune system. So start to consume things like uh, sauerkraut, kimchi, very important. Prebiotics, that would be like vegetable fibers. That would be beneficial. So your microbes have something to eat. And then probiotics, which I just mentioned. I think anyone over the age of uh, 60 should be taking a good probiotic. Okay, number four, fasting, extremely powerful on the immune system. I'll put a link down below of a video I did on that. But fasting can strengthen your immune system. There's even indications that you can literally rejuvenate um, a very weakened immune system by fasting on a routine basis, and I'm talking about intermittent fasting, but also periodic prolonged fasting. All right, number five, sleeping because it increases melatonin. Melatonin is a very powerful hormone that can help your immune system. So make sure that you do what you can to increase melatonin through sleep. Don't take this as a supplement though, because over time, your body can then resist that. All right, number six, of course, the obvious lower carbs because the sugar weakens the immune system. Most of the um, people that are dying from COVID-19 have metabolic diseases, diabetes, things that are related to carbohydrates and high insulin. So you wanna not just do keto, you wanna do the healthy version of keto to make sure the quality of nutrients are there as well. And then number seven, very, very important, keep your stress as low as possible. I'm telling you because if you're under a stress state, your immune system literally goes to sleep. It becomes paralyzed. It cannot work. And then if you have grandkids or you're thinking about having a baby, make sure that you breastfeed that baby because breastfeeding is the most important thing to do for a long-term healthy immune system. Also, exposing your child to germs, very, very important. Children that are not exposed to germs, they live in this hyper-clean environment, don't really develop your immune system. So very, very important. And also don't suppress the immune system if you actually get an infection a lot of times uh, parents will start giving the child medication and aspirin and things right off the bat when they should probably let the child go through the infection and let the immune system uh, recover because as soon as you start to like drop the fever with certain medications, you actually prolong the infection and you weaken the immune system. All right, there we have it. How to repair an old damaged immune system. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.